We have an update on a controversy in Colquitt County where a Moultrie funeral home is under fire for discarding grave decorations. The owner of that funeral home now says they were merely enforcing what was a long-standing policy. But as WALB News 10's Fallon Howard reports, the confusion created some extra grief for some of the families. If you take a look at this sign, it states the rules for any arrangements that you may want to leave on your loved one's grave. Now, the incident that occurred on Monday left many loved ones without personal items and several people had concerns. Right now, families can have one flower per grave, but it has to be in a pot. This is in place in case of weather hazards. They will no longer allow angels or lights as this can cause a safety hazard. We have, you know, you have some graves that's got lights all the way around those graves. And, and the problem that we have with that is, like I've told you before, I had one guy that was weed eating last year, and as he was weed eating, the weed eater hit those lights and it put five stitches in his, in his leg. One family member says these personal items carry value and cannot be easily replaced. There's things that other family members have brought out here to their loved one's grave and it's a valuemental, it's, it's something sentimental, sentimental and valuable that's been there for years to just be gone one day after the other. You can't just go and buy it from at the store again. I'm the funeral homeowner is apologizing for how things were handled and says moving forward he plans to be more consistent. I'm taking responsibility for what took place. Um, you know, I'm not trying to cover anything up. Um, you know, uh, take responsibility and move on and uh, you know, don't let it happen again. And I should have been a little more transparent of uh, probably in the past of enforcing the rules and not letting it get so out of hand. Fallon Howard, WALB News 10, your hometown news source.